perfect micro four thirds mirrorless backpack. Welcome to Bajikor with Angronde. I'm Gary Wiryawan, and today we're going to talk about this Finta S series backpack. I'm going to explain things from the perspective of a micro four thirds mirrorless shooter. So the Finta S series backpack is a camera bag for those who are looking for a camera bag that doesn't look like a camera bag and that has a very straightforward functionality. The design of the bag is actually really simple and straightforward and very classy. It's so handsome and very nice looking. It's very low key and it doesn't look like a camera bag so it doesn't scream like tons of camera gear inside. So it's perfect for many shooting scenarios while keeping it very classy. It retails for about 250 US dollars and it is definitely not cheap at all. However, this bag is not just about the look. It's also providing a bunch of functionality and storage flexibility for all of your gear. This bag offers a very straightforward carrying solution for your gear without all of those fancy quick access features or all of those fancy things that you commonly found in other camera bags. The main compartment for storing your gear is on the back of this bag. Now you might notice that the bag is actually quite compact and slim. It is actually very slim for a backpack of this size. And yes, it is rather small for a backpack, but it can still hold a decent amount of gear, especially when you are using mirrorless or micro four thirds camera gear. You may also notice that I attach my tripod on the side of this bag. This is actually against the manufacturer's suggestion of using the loop under the bag. I prefer to use my own method for attaching tripod by putting it on this side pocket of the bag and then clipping it using a carabiner to this loop of the bag. Now let's see what I currently pack in this bag. With my micro four thirds gear, I can fit two bodies, about 10 lenses, and other accessories such as speed lights and computers and tablet. That is absolutely amazing for a bag of this size to be able to fit so much gear inside of this bag. As I mentioned before, all of the gears can be accessed from this rear compartment on the rear part of the bag, which means it is actually more difficult for thieves to steal your gear. However, there are pockets on the front that you can use to store small items for your everyday carry, such as pens or notebooks or even a small tablet. The laptop compartment can be found on the rear part of the bag and it can fit up to 15 inch of laptop. Another unique feature of this bag is the removable included travel pack. The great thing about this pack is that you can quickly take it out from the bag and grab the pack to just carry only the things that you need for a particular shooting situation. The pack itself is good but I wish that they provide extra pack so that I can quickly swap between them so that I can quickly change items that I want to carry inside the bag. Right now the way I utilize this travel pack is to load it up manually or I can also use another pack that I have that have a similar size with the travel pack that's provided. The travel pack is stored in the upper part of the bag and can be accessed through the zippered part of the top bag that is protected by the magnetic enclosure system. I often time remove the travel pack and fill up the space provided by the travel pack inside the bag with more gear. Here are some examples of what I could fit inside the bag. Oftentimes, I will carry about two bodies and a bunch of lenses with lights and some other gear that I may need such as an ultra long telephoto lens, landscape filter kit or just simply extra speed light with some modifier. Now let's recap. The positive point about this bag are its compact size, design, simplicity, overall look and its simple function. There is one negative point that I find from this bag and that is the lack of attention to detail for such a high price bag. I mean, look at this leather accent here. For a 250 US dollar bag, this should not be happening. The stitching is very low quality and even the cutting of the leather is not good at all. This is actually embarrassing for a 250 US dollar bag. But actually that is the only negative that I find from this bag. So make sure you check your bag if you want to purchase it when you have the opportunity before you buy it. And make sure that all the accents and all the finishing are top notch. So again, this bag is for those who are looking for a simple bag with a handsome design with the simple features that doesn't offer too many fancy stuffs. So that is all for today's video. I hope you find this video to be useful. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment on my video. Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram. 
at the Joe Photography. As always, thank you and goodbye.